get populate. That intro was so fucking sick. So sick. So fucking sick. So sick. So fucking sick. So fucking sick. So fucking sick. Ah! Crom hell scream, everybody. Huh? Give it up. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to utilize the Oculus Rift and his awesome ability for head tracking. So stay tuned. We'll be walking you guys through this. It is actually relatively simple. Granted, the first step you acquired the Oculus. That's what you need to actually get started. There are some different alternatives. You'll be using a cell phone and a specific app required for that. All that stuff might be relatively simple and I will be looking into it later on in separate videos. As per now, we're going to focus on the DK1 and everything you do in this will be applicable on the DK2 and the CV1. That's consumer version 1, which has already started shipping by now. This video is focusing primarily on the oculus in general anything with head tracking so we'll be diving into free track which is actually a very simple program if you don't know what it is it allows you to use controllers anything with a value is sent as an input through that program you could use scripts find them all over the internet and the one we'll be focusing on I have in a link below all you do is cut and paste into this program and it's awesome stay tuned we're gonna open up free pie and we go new and we paste the script there we're gonna hit script we're gonna run script and hopefully oh yeah that works I'm moving my oculus right now and wherever you look that's where the mouse goes it's actually really good like I'm just moving it right now with my uh, hand but um, in here You'll be able to see everything I'm doing. See the mouse. But it'll be really good for games and with, with first person view. So we're going to run a game. Let's load up Star Citizen. Here we go. Yes. Oh, got updates. So I guess I will do that. And it's going to take forever. So I'm going to leave it off here and I will get back to you. A few moments later. Okay, so FreePy did not want to work in Star Citizen, so we're going to load up GTA 5. Star Citizen recently rolled out a new update. The 2.3.0 PU. I not sure why it's just stuck on the loading screen so we are actually going to load up Grand Theft Auto I mean there's a hundred videos of these out I kind of wanted to avoid that but I mean what 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 can you do you know like I'm just we're testing out free pie let's let's just get her done let's hop into the game and you know just start screwing around let's go ah, it's all fucked up everything is foggy Oh, but it we it will do. The garbage will do. All right. Let me talk about what's going on here. I'm actually using something called Tridef 3D, which is a an injector style program that actually it enables 3D in any game you play. So when you go in game, you are essentially the head in in the game. Um, that's a little weird. It's kind of a glitch. Um, so. You use WASD and you could walk around as normal and you can even adjust the sensitivity. If you look up in the top left, you'll see that my head moves farther rather than, you know, with, with the cursor. Whereas if I use a cursor here, it moves with it. So we're going to go outside and just play around with stuff. The program actually has quite a few settings you could play around with. 
If you press zero on the numpad, it brings up a little menu. You can actually play around with foreground and background. Basically, everything in the front shows you like how close something will be. Like you can change the depth, and the farther away it is, it'll spread the angles more so it's accurate. So when you play around with the game, with the settings at least, um, nothing is natively supported at all. Like um, when it comes to games like this, like um, they just don't support it right now. They will, like in in time. Just give it probably a year. Um, so that red dot right there, that is the laser sight and that's telling me how far away an object is. And I'm using it as a cursor just to make things easier, just to know where my my head is. So you've got output, which basically swaps. Um, um, let's say you're not comfortable with us, like with Oculus, you can actually try switching the eye and see right here this is actually pretty dizzying for me I can't explain it but right that's just more comfortable so it's gotta have something to do with that and especially this this is essentially the same idea that it's a little hard to focus but you can still experiment with depth but right there that's you know that's, that's what you do um so let's say you completely messed with everything and you're not comfortable with the settings, whatever, you fucked something up, you can restore to default settings. As you can see, you know, it took all of my settings away. And with the program I explained in another video called Virtual Desktop, um, you can actually bring the window out further or you can bring it in closer so that it's wrapped right around your head and you can just completely immerse yourself into the game now you're not really going to be looking around all that much in fact there's even another zoom in option which distorts the image so that if if, if you're playing a game that actually dis like also distorts image around you it'll look that much more immersive because then all the angles will be correct, everything will, you know, be around. I've got another setting here, and this is, it's its locked on your head. Right now, my eyes have to be cross-eyed to, to actually match the image up, and it's a little uncomfortable. You just pick one and, and do whatever. So I'm going to run around, like, this isn't just a, you know, showing off the program type thing. I'll get more in-depth with things a little bit later on, but I'm just actually going to see if there's a helicopter over here. But yeah, it's just so crazy how close everything feels when you're next to it. Like you, yeah, you actually feel the depth. You're not just playing on a screen. You are, in fact, immersed. You like, oh goddamn, that's sweet. Okay, so we're gonna hop in the helicopter. We're just gonna crash it. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly somewhere. Where we're gonna die. <laughs> uh, I think that's actually a pretty good spot to leave the video because I mean, what else? I can kill him. Let's, let's let's do that. Let's kill him. Get fucking decked. Oh, this bastard guy. This is so good. I feel so noob right now, like, it, it takes a whole nother getting used to. See, that's, that's probably where the end of the screen is. Look at me go, just instantly turning. Those are hacks right there. I hate that bullshit. Oh, 
Oh shit, the dudes are right over here. Whoa, oh my god, this is so bad. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's a lot of bugs and there's a lot of dicking around with these things. By the time the consumer version rolls out, you guys will have enough time to actually have these programs fully developed, fully like tested out. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now is testing out all the bugs and just kind of just, just screwing around. Like this is so good. I love it. I love doing this. You know, like it's just so friggin' new to me. And I'm just immersed inside of this game. There's so much murdering and, and noobs. The noob mainly being me because uh, I never play it. And so much bullshit. Arrgh. Anyways, peace out. Enjoy your evening or day or morning. Wherever the fuck you are. You're eternal slumber if you're sleeping while being bored of my video while I'm trying to find out how to escape from this stupid shit blindly blind shit it's free tracking I know I know I know